your thoughts? I mean, a tremendous first period and seemed to come out flat second period after that. Yeah, I, I think we were we scored three goals in the first period, and I think a lot of it had to do with how well we played defensively and um, play well defensively, take away the puck, and she had counterattack immediately. And um, you know, I think we we're just a little sloppy in the second period, and certainly um, they had more opportunities. And in the third, I, I thought we had more opportunities, but that's uh, that's a game of hockey. I, earlier in the year and throughout the season, when a game like that happened, if they wouldn't squander a lead, for example. They would obviously they would have they would have the confidence to get through. Is the doubt starting to creep into the players' minds at all when, when things when bad things start happening? Absolutely not, because uh, like I said, I thought we were the better team in the third period, and if there was doubt, we we wouldn't have been the third better team. So no, I don't think that was an issue. So, uh, your thoughts? I mean, obviously the uh, the Weigel penalty. I don't know if you saw it. Your thoughts on that call? Well, I, I the referee came over and talked about diving and. Uh, and I mentioned uh, some players, and uh, that one particular player proved that um, you know he, he got the referee. And um, so you're certainly on the power play, you got to stay with the roots. But uh, I think I think it's fair to say there was some some embellishments, and um, you know it's it's unfortunate that an embellishment makes it tough for the referees. And um, but uh, maybe, I haven't looked at it again. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. So. Your thought, how does this team bounce back? From a game like this, it was in their grasp. Uh, I, I think they'll be uh, ready to play on Friday, and I don't think there's any issue about bouncing back. Um, because we're a good team, we've got lots to play for. What do you attribute going from such a strong first period to being a bit flat in the second? Well, I think London deserves some of the credit. I don't think they were ready to play us in the first. And you know, we had that lead, and um, you know, I think the big turning point was giving up a shorthanded goal. Um, so. Was that just a bad change on that one, or a slow change on that shorthanded goal? No, we we had our four guys. There was no change. We had a we had a turnover, and um, you know, there too, Davo made a great play. Uh, the Smith, who came back in the play, beat our uh, next forward back. So it's just uh, we weren't uh, weren't weren't prepared for that guy, or just weren't working to get back. You guys really haven't been in a slump like this all season long. What do you say to the guys to get them out of this slow point? Uh, just little things are very important. Um, take care of the little things, and the the bigger picture takes care of itself. And you know, I, I think we're playing well. We played a good team tonight, and could win either way. I certainly thought we played well enough to win. Uh, certainly the first and third period, but you know, it's um, it's uh, it is what it is. I, I can't say that we have to change things because I like how we're playing, and um, we're we're not going to be changing our game very much. Uh, do you think the third line played very well tonight with Travis Wood being involved? I thought they were outstanding. Um, I think the three games that they've been together, um, they've been really good. And I think uh, a lot of that has to do with how Brendan has stepped up and uh, really taken a, a lead role. Um, you know, it's, he's been playing so well on face-offs, playing against other teams' top lines, getting some uh, goal, to goal um, scoring chances. Uh, certainly, he would like to score some more, but, uh, you know, I think his game has been uh, exceptional.